Hey guys, this is uh, Death Zero ZX from the SRK forums, and I'm going to show you a few ways to actually render uh, your images for your templates. So I'm going to go through a couple basic stuff, and hopefully it'll help you make you know better renders and and uh, make better looking templates. So there's the magic wand which everyone uses, which it's okay if you really don't want to have it accurate and it's going to have a bunch of white artifacts. There's an also you can go to select color range and just pick anything that is white and just turn it up and you click OK. It actually selects every little white part. The only thing is it kind of sucks because you can get some of in the middle of the picture like right here. So that's really not a good way either but um, just showing you out there, um, it, it can come in handy whenever you find a picture that has a certain color you don't want in there or you want to replace the color, so there's that. So um, I guess what everybody uses is the eraser tool and the eraser tool, it's okay, but the history slots fill up really quick and if you erase too much and you find out you screwed up back then, it's just not going to work out. So, um, here, I'll, I'll just start erasing right now just to show you how. So, it's pretty basic. You, you can um, zoom in to get better, but um, it's just, after a while, you won't be able to revert to anything you've made or undo a specific thing if you go too far. So, um, I don't really recommend this method, but... I know people do it, and um, if you do like it, that's cool, but I wouldn't recommend it. So, yeah, that's the eraser tool. So I'll, I'll show you a better way, which is actually kind of like the erase tool, but um, it's actually pretty safe, and you won't, um, you won't end up risking the, any mistakes on your image. So let me revert the picture and um, set up the layer again okay so um, you want you want to select your layer and there's this button down here that says add layer mask so we'll go ahead and click on that and the way this works is you use the paint brush and you're gonna paint with black and white um, you can use grays for a little transparency you could use your opacity for um, transpar transparencies but um, but basically what you want to do is you want to paint with black and that will actually erase like so. So um, if you make mistakes with this you can just change to white and you just paint it back. So let's say I screw, script up there, screwed up there. I really don't know how anyone could actually screw up like that but um, you know you just switch to white and you could just paint it right back. So, it's simple as that, and, um, you know, it, it, it works. It's, it's a lot better than the eraser tool just because of the fact that um, you could just add anything back that you screw up. So, uh, there's that method. So, I'll explain the pen tool also, and let's see, we'll revert it again, set up my layer again. So the pen tool is actually the best one. I should actually, this is a really low res image, so I'm just going to increase the size so that it's uh, easier to see the edges. It also gives me a better range of pixels in case I screw up with the pen tool or in case I miss something. If you, if you have it at a low res, it'll be boxy edges just because of the resolution that the picture's at. So here's the pen tool. And... Um, you can see that it's kind of weird at first, but it's it, it gets it gets better with practice. There's if you just single click, it just does straight edges. But if you um, if you hold click and drag, you start doing Bezier curves, and it makes really crisp curves so that when you delete everything out it's perfectly you know 
aligned with whatever curve you're doing. You can um, adjust the handles by holding control and hovering over the handles and just stretch them out however you want. While holding control, it's it kind of acts like a balance where it rotates the whole handles, both of them. And that's what you want to stick to unless you run into a corner or you know like a tangent I guess where, where a line just breaks off of a curve so I'm gonna start with um, with the top of her head right here and you'll get to see you always want to start with a drag first with a bezier curve and just kinda work your way you can always adjust them so don't worry if you screw up the same at you know the first time you can move your points also too so if you if you don't align your points right you can adjust it too and I'm using that the control to do that as well so here's where you use alt because there's a it breaks off at a corner so you wanna kinda hover it over the line when it curves down so that it has a little bend to it that can wrap around the curve so <clears throat> I'm just going to continue just like this and I'll show you afterwards what what you can do to select everything. It's really simple. You get better with practice. Trust me, it's not that hard. I'm probably just going to end up <clears throat> doing like her head only because it, it'll it take a lot longer to show you to do everything else. So I'll just focus on her head and get her cheek right there. So if you notice, um, I'm not making too many points. If you, you know, you want to, more is less whenever you use the pen tool because um, it's, uh, the the less you have the the more the less chances of actually screwing up a curve if you make too many points the line's going to have too many too many variables and um it won't look as straight or as perfect as it could be so i'm actually doing kind of an awful job but um this is just for example pretty much so right here just do an angle Yeah, I used to do the eraser method first, and it worked for me for a bit, but I just, the one thing that sucked is doing anime hair. That was the worst thing for me to do, and I needed to find a better solution, so when I found the pen tool, it was, it worked wonders. And, um, I think it was the Luca one I made? I'm not, I'm not sure. I think that's when I first started using it, because that hair was giving me a lot of trouble. So there we go, we got our head. So basically you want to get the pen tool out again and just right click in the center and you can click make selection and zero is fine, anti-alias is fine and just click OK. So now you got a selection around the head and you can either erase around it, rever you know, inverse the selection, you can do control shift I and that inverses the selection and you could just erase around her head now but there's also you can actually just make a mask so you could just go down here just like you know using masks and the paint tool to paint but you could just have it already selected click on the add layer mask button and there you go you got Sakura's head floating around now I could stick it wherever I want on a template and it, it won't have too bad of any edges so there won't be any white artifacts pretty much and since it's on a mask still if you missed a spot let's see if I missed um, anything easy way to find if you made a mistake is just make a black layer and um, you can see so see there I got white edges right there so I could go back to the layer and I could just click right here on the mask and um, just take my paintbrush and just kind of fine-tune it. 
if this was a higher res image, it wouldn't be so difficult, but uh, it is what it is. I chose this picture because it was kind of simple. So, yeah, so there you go. You know, hopefully this teaches you how to use the pen tool, how to use the masks method, and um, hope this helps with making better templates. This is uh, Death Zero ZX, and um, I'll see you on the forums.